Hey guys, it's Kimberly and the girls. Um, we are just doing a quick tutorial today. Um, I wanted to do a Valentine's Day tutorial for you guys on a Valentine's Day look. And all the ones I'm watching, everybody's doing um, Valentine's Day looks with the Naked 3 palette, which is obvious because it's like rosy tones, um, it's new, and everybody wants to use it for Valentine's Day. Um, since I've already done a tutorial on... <laughs> you want to sit in Mommy's yeah. lap too? Okay. Since I've already done a tutorial on um, the Naked 3 palette, I decided to do something a little bit different, but I did want to go still with like a pink um, kind of look. So, I used this Maybelline Quad, which is in new. Oh, no. It's just, it is new. That's so dumb. It's in Pink Persuasion number 80. Um, and it has a creamy white, a light pink, a silver, and a sparkly black. So, um, that's what I used to get this eye look. And, um, yeah, so if you guys want to see how I got this Valentine's Day inspired look, please keep watching. Alright guys, um, by the way, there's babies around, so just FYI. Um, but I am going to start off by priming my eyes. Today I'm just using the Urban Decay, um, eyeshadow priming potion, and you can use any, um, primer that you want, but I would definitely, um, suggest using a primer of some kind. And I just throw it on as messy as can be because you're going to blend it all in anyways. So, any kind that you have. I really like the Lorac one, but I'm trying to use this one up. So, anyway, blend your primer all in. All right. So once you're through with that, um, taking your uh, Maybelline Quad, this is the one in Pink Persuasion, looks like this. I hope this is focusing for you guys. Um, it has a kind of shiny white, uh, not really shiny, uh, I guess sparkly white, a light pink, um, a silver, and then a sparkly black. Are you jumping? <laughs> jumping. Um, we're going to take a flat shader brush, um, just any one that you have, and then with the pink color, the light pink, we're just going to put that onto the lid, and you're just going to want to pack that on, of course. Just on the eyelid, you're going to pack that pink on all the way to the corner. We are going to highlight the corner, but, and I'm putting a good thick layer because I want the pink to really stand out since this is a Valentine's Day look. Anyway, I'm going to use this light brown color with a blending brush. You can use any kind of light brown color that you'd like. I'm using, it's just a couple of shades darker than my skin tone, and I'm going to, just going to put this into my crease just to create a shadow. So, like I said, you can use any kind um, of, we're rubbing in lotion really good, any kind of lighter brown color that you want. And this is just to create a little bit of dimension and kind of bring out the hollow in your eye. And this does not have to be perfect because for the most part it's going to be covered up. Yeah. Um, but it does create a little bit of dimension, which I like. So, you're just going to blend that in. Yeah, what you got? Yeah, you're rub, rub, rubbing that lotion. Oh, Blakely, those glasses look so cute on you. Can you be real careful though? Don't break Mama's glasses. Okay, so once you have done that, um, just make sure that's blended in good. And now we're going to take the um, light silver color. And this we're not going to use a whole lot of because it does have some sparkle in it. But I'm just using like a flat topped blending brush. It's just uh, pretty flat. This is called a blending eye brush. Um, and just going to take just a little bit of this. And we're going to put it in the outside corner. We're going to build up the black. In the outside corner just to kind of create a darker smoky gray look but I like to put this just kind of in the outer corner like so and blend it up just to kind of turn that 
taupey brown color into a kind of muted gray color. So in the outside corner and then pulling it up into the crease just a little bit. This is like a really shiny color. So I don't like to use a whole lot of it because I think it's a little bit overwhelming, but um, all right. So, all right, now taking this sparkly black colored and just an angled um, blending brush. Yeah, that's a nail polish. We're gonna be using uh, the black sparkly color. You just have to be really careful when you're using any kind of really dark color because it's always easy to add more and build the color up, but it's hard to take it off. So we're going to be using this very sparingly and just building this up in the corner uh, outside corner of our eye. So I'm just going to take just a little bit and tap off the excess and just put this right into the outside corner and create a V in the outside corner. And then you can just keep putting as much on as you feel comfortable with. And as you know, if you want it more dramatic, obviously you can put more. If you'd like it more subtle, you can put less. But just remember, it's always very easy to add more hard to take off, so. I'm pulling this, kind of dragging the black um, onto the outside corner, onto the lid just a little bit, just so it doesn't look like a harsh V, it looks more like a cat eye, if you will. Nice. All right. Now, so I'm gonna take a blending brush now. This is just a fluffy blending brush and I'm gonna blend out this black, which is not really very black right now. It's a little bit more gray, which is good. That's kind of what we're going for. here is a little bit lighter now that I've blended it all out so I'm going to add just a little bit more to this they're bringing all the nail polish in here to me so that we can paint our nails later so helpful <laughs> okay all right now as a highlight color let me find the brush that I want to use here Wow, good music, sis. All right, this one here. Um, and we're just going to take this um, white color here. Um, apparently, we're going to listen to some music now, guys. So, enjoy. Um, and this color, I'm going to just put lightly under my brow bone because it is a little bit of a... Not a, a matte white like I typically would use, but I kind of wanted to use this little quad, so... But we can always blend this out, keep in mind, to make it not so harsh. Um, so I'm just highlighting my brow bone and then I'm going to go back in with that same blending brush and just kind of blend everything together just so there's no like harsh, you know, color definition. And you can kind of tell where we put that light kind of toby brown color so it looks more like a gradient. It's not like black, gray, and then, you know, the white. You can kind of see that brownish taupey color peeking through. All right, lastly, we're gonna take just a small brush. You can use any small brush that you'd like, and I'm gonna just outline um, the corners of my eyes, just kind of give them a good highlight. Like so. Yeah, Baba Dada, he went to work, didn't he? Okay. We're going to give a good highlight. Alright, um, next step is going to be lining our lash line. I'm going to do a wings liner and I'm going to use the Maybelline, no, this is the Rimmel London Waterproof Gel Liner. I find this one pretty easy to use, really, for a gel liner. Um, and it's a tiny little pot, but it's a very, very black and it goes on very easily. So, so we're just going to take a little bit and line our lash line. Yes. All right, so that's our liner. Um, 
Now I'm going to do some falsy lashes and I may cut this out because this is like boring to watch, but there are our lashes. Okay, now for our bottom um, lash line, I'm going to just take this sparkly black color in just a little pencil type brush that looks like this. And we're just gonna line our lower lash line quickly. And just focusing more on the outside corner and blending it in. Sorry guys, I ran out of space on my memory card. Um, anyway, I'm going to just take, um, this is the Rimmel, the Max uh, Volume Mascara. You can use any kind of mascara that you'd like. I'm just putting a thin coat on the top since we do have lashes just to blend in my real lashes. I'm going to just quickly put a little bit more pink on our lids just because I feel like with putting all of the eyeliner and eyelashes and all that, we lost some of that color. We do want that to peek through and then go back in and highlight those inner corners with the white. Alrighty, um, and then just to finish off this look, I used the NYX Baked Blush and Bronzer, and this one is in full on feminine or feminine, full on femi. Fem, I don't know. Anyways, um, it is just a really like pretty light pink color. So we put that on our cheeks, and then I am going to try out this new um, nude lust from. What is this from? The new nude line um, by Maybelline and it's number 920. So we are going to try that lip out with this look since it is kind of a pinky nude. So this is how the look turned out. I know it's probably hard to see. I will insert some pictures here. Um, but I did finish off the look with some blush and lipstick and just kind of stuck with more neutrally pink colors um, since the eye look is kind of a little bit bold, I guess. Um, so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you have a fabulous Valentine's Day and stay tuned for um, a few more Valentine's Day videos throughout the week. So um, subscribe if you, yeah, we use this one. See, show them. Show them which one we used. Hold it up. There. So good. We're learning early. Um, anyway, so please like and subscribe and look for some more videos throughout the week. And we will talk to you guys soon. All the information um, on the products I used and everything will be in the down bar. So, alrighty guys. Have a good week. Bye.